personally, I would define mental health as the state of one's mm, emotions and their perception on the world. I'd probably define mental health as someone's overall state of wellness um, that's not physical, so psychological, emotional. Like if you're if you're happy and you're doing something positive to be happy. You have like the physical well-being where you're you're working out and you exercising. You can be physically fit, but being like mentally fit, I think is the idea of being like really content with how you are as a as a personality. It's making sure that your mind is not being overworked and overstimulated even when you're not doing something. I think happiness is is like good mental health. I think there's definitely a link between mental health and substance abuse. Um, generally, if someone isn't happy mentally, um, they're going to turn to substances um, to kind of cope with that and uh, make themselves feel better, even if even if they're not truly better. I think that um, a lot of the times, people with a severe mental illness might, or not even a severe mental illness, just any sort of mental illness, when they're not feeling cont completely content with their mental well-being, they might turn to su to a substance to take the edge off, maybe they want to experience a different state of mind. Struggle with mental issues, their reality is not their ideal reality and they want to get achieve a different sort of sense of being that's what their ideal is. And drugs help with that. All substances, including prescription and recreational, are mind altering. Obviously it's going to change your state of mind, it's going to change your emotions. I feel as though, uh, you know, someone that's unstable mentally is more apt to pick up and, you know, let it, have it evolve into substance abuse, substance use. Mm -hmm. I had plenty of home problems going on during high school, but you're supposed to be focused on your schoolwork, and so a lot of people did use drugs because they were struggling to cope. But it's temporary when you're off of it, it becomes really bad. I mean, you might not even know you're using it to, to help you cope. You might just be using it and then it, it ends up taking your problems away and it just, you get into that cycle of addiction. I think that there's definitely a uh, large amount of drug use in our school um, to cope with mental illness. Usually when you're in it, you're not really thinking about the reason why you're doing that. I feel like a lot of the issues surrounding drug use definitely came from mental health issues as well as peer pressure. Seek help other than a substance because it's it's only temporary, you know? You're only gonna get out of yourself for as long as the effects of whatever substance you decide to use last and then it just it just snowballs because then you're gonna wanna keep getting that relief. Gravitate towards the positive and work with certain feelings that I needed to continue working on instead of trying to escape what is substance that will only temporarily take me away from my pain. I uh, really found that talking to my therapist was really awesome but also just like maintaining my normal activities. I think that the best coping mechanism was definitely just talking about it.